Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to do slow motion in Luma Fusion for the iPad or the iPhone. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is actually start a new project. So go ahead and click on that plus in the timeline area. You're going to name your project here by typing on the field. We're going to call this slow motion. We're going to keep everything else default. Once you've named your project and changed any settings you need to, go ahead and click on that plus sign there. Okay, now we have a project. I have mine set to photos, but if you tap on the top left corner icon, you can actually set to anything you want here, but I have mine set to photos. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna locate this one clip here, right there. From here, what you're gonna do is look at this viewing angle here. And if I scroll through, it's the clip that I want. You can either dump the whole clip in there or you can get a portion of it. So let's go ahead and get a portion of it. And the way you do that is by grabbing these yellowish, orangish brackets here. So you can kind of pull it into where you want it. And I kind of want it like right here. And the ending, uh, let's see, about right there is probably good enough. Once you've selected the area you want, you can hit that down arrow. And if you want the whole clip itself, don't even worry about the brackets, just hit this down arrow here. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that and reselect it where I wanted. Right there. And right there. Now again, I'm going to tap on that down arrow to drop it into the timeline. Okay, so now we have the clip in the timeline. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and turn the sound down by tapping on the speaker icon to the left here. Okay, for slow motion, the best way that I've found to do it is what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the section that you want to be slow motion. You're gonna put a cut before and after. Then after that, we'll go ahead and mess with the speed. So let's find that spot. So I want him to zoom by me, but I wanna do a quick slow motion right when we see his face. So here's the first cut by tapping on the scissors. And then right here is the second cut. So to expand the timeline so it's a little bit easier to see, you're gonna do the, the old pinch and zoom thing that you do on iPads. So it'll make it bigger and easier to see, but it won't affect the speed or the length or anything. So now that little section here is a lot easier to kind of deal with. So from here, what you're going to do is go ahead and double click or double tap. And now you're going to be into the editing window. So at the bottom second icon from the left, there's a little speedometer or an RPM gauge. So go ahead and tap on that. So now we have a little slider here that we can control the speed of the clip. So now we're going to drag to the left and we're going to go start with about a quarter. And we'll go ahead and play and see how it looks. Let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, maybe a little bit slower. Okay, let's try that again. Go to the beginning, push play. Yeah, that's kind of about the speed I want. Okay, once you're finished here, you figured out the speed that you want. You can actually tap on the arrow on the top left corner to go back to the normal timeline. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and pinch and zoom my clip in again. And now let's play that from the beginning. There's our slow motion, and then it goes back to regular motion. Okay, well that's it. That's how you do slow motion in Luma Fusion. I wanna thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace and aloha.